I have a Valentine project for you that's absolutely in the bag. For a little extra spark with your sparkling grapes, turn an ordinary canvas wine bag into a cozy drink accessory. To make this narrow bag easier to embroider on, slit the side seam open. It's quite easy to reclose when the embroidery is finished. Mark placement for the three designs we'll be using on this bag. Use a different colored placement dot for each design. First, the Kissing Goblets design Valentine Cheer Swirls will be centered horizontally and the stitching start point placed 4 inches from the bottom of the bag. At the top of the bag goes I Love You Swirls, 3 inches from the top of the bag and also in the horizontal center. The double swirly hearts will be used twice. I've placed the right dot 2 inches from the side and 7 inches from the bottom of the bag and have chosen to rotate the design 20 degrees to the right. The left design will be rotated 45 degrees to the left, and the placement dot goes 1 and 5 8 inches from the side and 6 inches from the top of the bag. I've attached matching dots to my production sheets for easy reference. I used embroidery software to create the rotations on the two hearts so I can place the fabric straight vertically within the hoop. Another way to create the slant is to use the design as it comes and instead rotate the fabric in the hoop to the approximate desired tilt. Because the right side of the bag is short, it's helpful to use an adhesive backing to keep the fabric in place where it doesn't reach the side of the hoop. The stabilizer keeps the fabric from slipping about or being pulled in by the stitches. The result is a nice, evenly embroidered design. Repeat the steps of hooping and embroidering until the stitch designs are finished. Crystals are on trend and are appealing as an accent for embroidery. I'll use a hotfix tool to place 3mm crystals to look like bubbles over the two goblets. I have some scraps of a fabulous cushy trim that I'll add to the top and bottom of the bag. You need approximately a 28 inch length of trim for this project, including 12 to 13 inches for the top and bottom trimming and 2 inches for the tassels that we'll add later. At the sewing machine, turn the bag inside out and replace the side seam. Turn the bag right side out again. Wrap one fringe piece around a drawstring end, affix it with a threaded needle. Repeat this step for the second fringe piece and drawstring end. That was a quick and enjoyable project, and now here we have it. An attractive cozy to add a little sparkle for a valentine or anytime.